नमस्कार मित्रांनो नमस्ते दोस्तो दिस इज मंदार भानुशे फ्रॉम द इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ डिस्टन्स अँड ओपन लर्निंग युनिव्हर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रिव्हियस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी हॅव डिस्कस्ड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ शेअर्स इन दॅट वी हॅव अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज अ शेअर वॉट आर द डिफरंट टाईप्स ऑफ शेअर्स लाईक बोनस शेअर्स इक्विटी शेअर्स प्रिफरेन्शियल शेअर्स वी ऑल्सो हॅव लर्न अबाउट डिव्हिडंट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिव्हिडंट विच इज गिव्हन बाय कंपनी अँड द प्रॉब्लेम्स रिलेटेड टू दॅट इन केस यू हॅव मिस द अर्लियर लेक्चर द लिंक ऑफ दॅट लेक्चर इज प्रोव्हायडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस व्हिडिओ डू वॉच द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स अँड वॉच दोज व्हिडिओज फर्स्ट इन दिस थर्ड व्हिडिओ ट्युटोरियल ऑफ अवर एफ आय बी कॉम मॅथमॅटिकल अँड स्टॅटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स पेपर ऑफ सेमिस्टर वन युनिट वन वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ शेअर्स समटाईम्स कंपनीज स्प्लिट द फेस व्हॅल्यू ऑफ अ शेअर अँड ब्रेक इट इन टू स्मॉलर युनिट्स फॉर एक्झाम्पल a 100 rupees share can be split into 10 shares of each of face value rupees 10 or a rupees 10 share can be split into two shares of face value of rupees 5 each usually this does not affect a shareholder's wealth however it can make selling of a part of the holdings easier for the company also for the investor Say for example if you have 100 shares of a company and the company splits its one share into four shares so you have 100 shares of the company and the company is splitting 1 is to 4 ratio one share into four shares then as a shareholder you would now have instead of 100 400 shares though the face value will change the total wealth of the shareholder remains the same at that instant of time A stock split happens when a company increases the number of its shares to boost the stock's liquidity and sometimes it is also to make the shares more accessible. Say for example, a share is at a price of rupees 10,000 or you can also have shares higher than that price. Investors would not like to buy it at that high price. but the splitting of it that share brings down the face value and therefore it attracts more investors so that they would be purchasing those shares at a lesser value in the market with this as a background let us do an activity before we proceed to the topic for this video lecture so here is a question in front of you okay and pause the video for some time and try to do this activity and then you can resume the video the activity is to go and find out which two indian companies in the last month in august 2022 decided to split their stocks okay come back after doing a small search on this welcome back and now we shall see some problems related to splitting of shares so here's a problem in front of you this problem we have taken from our study material itself so mr zoshi purchased 30 shares of rupees 10 each of medi computers limited on 20th january 2007 at rupees 36 per share so how many shares did mr zoshi purchased 30 shares and what was the face value of that rupees 10 on 3rd april 2007 that is after few months the company decided to split their shares from the face value of rupees 10 to face value of rupees 2 on 4th april 2007 the market value of each share now was rupees 8 so you can see when the shares were split by the company the face value was brought down to 2 rupees and the next day in the market the market value of this share has become rupees 8 find mr zoshi's gain or loss if he was to sell the shares on 4th of april what would be his gain or what would be his loss and no brokerage was involved in transaction is given in this problem so this is the background of the question in mathematics whenever we are solving problems it is best to read and understand the things which are given in the problem carefully so let us look at what is given in the problem so on 20th january 2007 the person mr zoshi purchased 30 shares of 30 rupees each So now let us solve the problem and what is given on 20th January 2007 Mr Zoshi purchased 30 shares of Medi Computers Limited 
at rupees 36 per share. So you can see this was the number of shares purchased and this is the value of that share. So what is the total purchase cost for Mr. Joshi? 30 shares into the value 36 per share. You multiply, you get 1080 rupees. This is the purchase cost. Then on 3rd April, each of this 10 rupee share now was split into 2 rupees share. So, 5 shares. So, because we have this split by the company has decided to split that 10 rupee into share of 2 rupees each. So, 1 share now becomes equivalent to 5 shares. So, the person had brought 30 shares initially. And now because one share has become five, so the number of shares also has increased and that how many shares now the person has 150 shares. Now in the market on 4th April, that is next day after the shares were split, the market value has become eight. This is what is given in the problem. So what is the cost of the total shares which the person has now? 150 shares at rupees eight each. So now it is 1200 rupees. So initially he had purchased the shares for 1080 rupees and now he has 1200 rupees as per the market value. So you can see this 1200 is greater than 1080. So therefore definitely he has gained some amount of money and what is the amount of money he has gained? What is the current price 1200 minus the purchase price, the cost when he purchased. So that is 120 rupees. So these kind of problems will be there when you are doing uh, problems related to splitting of shares. Let us see another problem. So here's another example from the study material. Rahul purchased 500 shares of rupees 100 of a company A at rupees 700. So he purchased the shares at rupees 700 per share. After two months, he received a dividend of 25%. After six months, he also got one bonus share. So you can see here, there are things which are getting added. And then when we solve the problem, we have to just write down one below each other so that we can keep a track of the things. So dividend is what the person Rahul has earned, which is of the rate of 25%. And also he has received bonus share for every four shares, right? And after 5 months, he sold all his shares at rupees 610. The brokerage paid was 2% on both, on the purchase as well as on the sales. Find the percentage return on the investment. Okay, so we have, what is the question asking us to do? To find out the percentage return on the investment. So let us do it step by step, understanding each step carefully. The company has this share of this company A. Its face value is rupees 100. So we have got the face value is rupees 100. Number of shares which Rahul has purchased is 500. So number of shares is 500. When he purchased, the market price was 700. So the market price here is 700. Dividend was paid to him after two months. It is 25%. Brokerage he has paid, as it is also very clearly mentioned, brokerage is paid at the rate of 2% for both purchase as well as for the sale. So we have written down all the important things which is given in the problem. This is how you should, this is what is called as the problem solving approach. Write down whatever is given to us and then use the formulas and calculate everything in step by step manner. So let us first find the total purchase cost. So for one share it was 700 rupees and 2% uh, brokerage is also paid. Right, so 2% that is 2 upon 100 into 700 that is 14 rupees plus 700. So 714 is the purchase price of one share. The total number of shares which he had purchased was 500. We have written it here 500. So what is the total purchase cost? 500 multiplied by the purchase price of each share, including the brokerage. So that is 500 into 714, 3 lakh 57,000 is the total purchase. Now, dividend also he has received and the dividend is at the rate of 25%. So, 25% of 100 is rupees 25 per share. And since he had purchased 500 shares, so the total dividend which he received was 500 into 25, which is 12,500. So, we have calculated the total purchase cost. We have also calculated the dividend. 
now he has also received a bonus share of 1 for every 4 shares. Now, total number of shares he had purchased was 500. So, just one fourth of that 500 is 125. So, he has got additional 125 shares. That is what we learned in the previous video lecture called as bonus shares. So, one share for every one share, four shares. So, therefore, one fourth is 125. And uh, the total number of shares now become 500 plus 125. 625 is the total number of shares which he has after getting the bonus shares. Now, he is selling it and now he has to sell all these 625 shares and the market price is 610 rupees per share and he also has to give a brokerage. So, brokerage now has to remove, has to be removed from his total earnings so that we can calculate whether he has gained something or he has lost and that after that the percentage of return. So, sale price is 610 minus 2 percent of 610 that is removing the brokerage. So, 2 percent of 610 is 12.2, 610 minus 12.2 is 597.8 is the sale price of each share and the number of shares he has is 625. So, 625 into 597.8, 3,73,625 is what he has earned. Right. Now, what is a net profit? Net profit is whatever is the sale value plus the dividend which he has earned minus the purchase value. So, we have seen the sale value is 3,73,625, the brokerage was 12,500 and the purchase value was 3,57,000. So, we just add the dividend, remove the purchase value, we get the net profit as 29,125 and now the problem says to find the percentage gain. So, it is this net profit 29,125 divided by what was his original purchase value 357,000 multiplied by 100 8.16. So, this is the percentage gain which he has received over this transactions. So, what we have seen in this video lecture, two types of problems, one which is exactly based on splitting of shares where one share is split into n number of shares by a company and then if the purchase is happening or selling is happening, then what is the investor getting? So, this is one type of problem on splitting of shares. Another problem where we have combined dividend is also there, bonus share is also there, splitting is also there kind of. So, this is how the combinations will be there to solve problems in this category of topic which is of shares. Friends, we will stop here now and we will come with the next video lecture which is on mutual funds and I am sure all of you would be interested to know more about mutual funds. So, let us wait for some time and be back for the next video lecture on mutual funds. Thank you for watching.